In Euclidean geometry, you have axioms and you have propositions and you have proofs, but you don't have really, there's no philosophical or symbolical component to it. That's what differentiates sacred geometry from regular Euclidean geometry, is that now these images, the squares, the rectangles, the triangles, the polygons in the 2D, going up to the, the 3D, which is the polyhedra and so forth, they all now have a symbolical dimension to them. And see, then that leads us into the idea that the geometry was used as a language amongst initiates in various times and places throughout history. A square in this system is not just a square. It has a, a symbolical connotation. In the most basic sense, square is terrestrial, circle is celestial, square is earth, circle is heavens. Because the relationship, say, between the side of a square and its area is a purely rational, the relationship between the side of a square and its perimeter, whereas in a circle, the relationship between its diameter and, and its circumference is an irrational number. And Kyle, you know that an irrational number never repeats and never terminates, right? That's what makes it unique.